Hi everybody, in this video we're going to discuss the basics of probability. So first of all, probability is how likely something is to occur, and probability is always going to be between zero and one. Uh, if something has a probability of zero, it means it certainly will not happen, and then if something has a probability of one, then it certainly will happen. Anything in between is uh, there's uncertainty. If the probability is 0.8, it, there's an 80% chance that something will happen. So I'm going to start out with kind of the classic uh, marbles in a bag problem where you have five green, two red, and we'll say uh, three yellow marbles, and there's 10 total. And so I want to start out with uh, the probability of drawing uh, one red marble. And all you do is you say there's two reds out of uh, 10 total. So that's two out of 10, simple enough. Um, if you um, draw more than one marble, um, then you have to multiply uh, the probabilities together of, you know, for example, what's the chance of a green then red. I'm just kind of start with that. And um, I want to uh, make a note that there's what's called independent draws and dependent draws. If you have independent draws, that means the first draw doesn't impact the second draw. The only way that can happen is if you put the green marble, if you put the first marble back in the bag. Um, so I want to start out with uh, independent draws. Independent is uh, with replacement. So what that means is you take a, you pull a marble out of the bag and say it's a green marble. The chance of that happening is five out of 10. And then once you get that green marble, you actually put it back in the bag, shake it up and then draw again. The chance of a red marble at that point is two out of 10. That's gonna be 10 out of 100 or a 10% chance of a green than a red. Let's do this again uh, where we have dependent draws, green, then red. Dependent draws is no replacement. And so this time, what's the chance of a red? Well, it's still five out of 10, just like that. And uh, this time, the chance of a, or, I'm sorry, the chance of a green, did I say green? Five out of 10, okay. Uh, the chance of a red is next, but now there's two reds remaining, but there's only nine marbles in the bag because we pulled one out. So this is now two out of nine because we took the green marble out and didn't put it back. So this is gonna be 10 out of 90 is a probability now, so slightly higher because there's fewer marbles to pick from. Uh, so that's the difference between an independent draw with replacement, put the marble back in, a dependent draw without replacement. Um, so let me uh, do this problem again in a slightly different way. Uh, we're gonna still keep the five green, two red, and three yellow. But this time, you know, this, this here I did green, then red. Now I wanna do the probability of a a green and a red. And the difference is, I'm not telling you what order is, is um, we have to get these in. It can be green and red, um, it can be green, then red, or sorry, probability red, then green. Either one of these would, if you went and, uh, you can get a green, then a red, or a red, then a green. So um, for a green and a red, and a red or a green, we're going to take those two with an or. We are going to add those together. So, um, and I'll do this um, no replacement. So these are dependent draws. So a green. Uh, it has a five out of 10 chance. And a red has a two out of nine chance now because we didn't put the first marble back. And then over here, a red first would be a two out of 10 chance. And a green next would be a five out of nine chance. This is gonna be 10 out of 90. 
plus another 10 out of 90. So that's a 20 out of 90 chance. It's about, I'm gonna say about a 22% chance of, uh, of a green and a red. If the order doesn't matter, if there's less specificity about you know, what you want, then it's more likely that's gonna happen. Um, so if you have an or, you take all the situations that are, cause an or, and you, uh, you just add those guys together. So that's how uh, or happens. Speaking of and and or, there's another rule I need to show you. So if you have, and we're just gonna do A and B. Um, the, uh, you know, what I've told you a minute ago is, you, you know, just do that. Um, if you have A or B, so if you say or, uh, I, I told you that you do, you do plus, so we add the chance of A plus the chance of B, but if it's an or, you also have to take out the chance of A and B, because if your mom says you get a cupcake or a donut, you don't get both. You have to pick one or the other, not both. So if there is a chance of and, then you have to subtract that out. And uh, so uh, I'm gonna introduce a vocab term, mutually exclusive. Mutually exclusive means that two events cannot happen together. It cannot be a, a boy and a girl at the same time. Um, those events are mutually exclusive. I can't be upstairs and downstairs at the same time, mutually exclusive events. I can't, some things are not mutually exclusive. I can have brown hair and blue eyes at the same time, that's possible. I can have blonde hair and black eyes at the same time, that, those, are, those are not mutually exclusive. So mutually exclusive means that the chance of A and B is zero. That's what mutually exclusive means. So if you're looking at things that are mutually exclusive, um, then all you really need for the chance at A or B is the chance of A plus the chance of B. I wanna just explore this with kind of a, a, a standard deck of cards. A standard deck of cards has 52 cards and there's 13 cards and four suits. That's kind of the standard deck of cards. Uh, what's the probability of an eight or a nine? Well, that's gonna be the chance of an eight plus the chance of a nine minus the chance of an eight and a nine. That's the standard formula. Um, eights and nines are mutually exclusive. So what's the chance of eight and nine? It's zero. And uh, the chance of an eight, there's four eights out of 52 cards. And there's four nines out of 52 cards. So that's going to be there's an eight out of 52 probability that you get an eight or a nine. Simple enough. Um, you could also ask something like this. What's the probability of a queen or a heart? That's a little different case because there is a card that's both. So we're going to start this out with a formula. Probability of a queen plus the, plus the probability of a heart minus the probability of a queen and a heart. Um, so we know that there's four queens out of 52. And then the suit of hearts has 13 cards. So plus 13 out of 52. But these are not mutually exclusive. It is possible to have a queen and a heart. And there's actually one card that is a queen and a heart at the same time. So we have to subtract that and case out. 4 plus 13 is 17 minus 1 is 16 out of 52. So that's how you do the probability of a, uh, of a something that's not mutually exclusive with an or. The reason you take this one out is the queen is counted 
The queen of hearts is counted as a queen, but it's also counted as a heart. So what you've done is you've double counted this card. It's, it's been counted in two categories. And so we had to pull one out to make sure it wasn't actually double counted. Um, so that'll uh, wrap this up. That's an introduction to probability, um, basic introduction, but anyway, it'll get you started. Bye-bye.